Understanding cost accounting, flexible budgeting, and applied overhead. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email address and our phone number. And a good website, one of the university websites where some of the professors show some of their PowerPoints and other supporting documents for their business courses, where we got some of the information for this video. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to talk about a new term we haven't seen yet in cost, applied overhead. We define overhead, as you saw, probably on cost accounting three. Costs that cannot be applied directly to production. So if we think about that pair of Levi's jeans, the repair and maintenance on the equipment, we can't apply that cost to each pair of jeans. Now direct material and direct labor, we probably can apply per pair of jeans, but overhead's a little more difficult. Think about utility costs, interest on loans. These are types of costs that can't be applied easily to each thing you're producing. So we have some types of overhead we call applied overhead. To recognize these costs, and I'm talking about repair and maintenance on a piece of machinery, we apply the cost, we attach these costs based on some sort of standard. Maybe it's number of hours worked, number of hours a machine runs, based on some sort of standard. I want to switch gears and talk about a static versus a flexible budget for budgeting reasons. And I'm going back to my Levi's jeans factory, as you'll see here at the top. And we're planning production for 2010. Based on the history of the factory, what our salespeople estimate, we're going to budget based on 10,000 pairs of jeans. Now we have two approaches we can use. The first is a static budget. And in parentheses, I think about stubborn. Think about somebody who's stubborn who says, we're going to stick to our estimate, in this case, of 10,000 pairs of jeans, and we're not going to change. The definition is a budget based on a planned level of output at the start of the budget period. In this case, 10,000 pairs of jeans. A flexible budget, and that's what I'm going to spend time on because that's most used almost by everyone now, not a static budget. Budgeted revenue and costs based on actual levels of output. And the, the memory jogger here is think of openness. If we can change the, we can change the budget if actual production is different. And in the real world, it almost always will be. Let's flip over to this uh, flexible budgeting variance. And you can see here at the bottom that we figured out a calculation for variable overhead. We said that the cost of the piece of machinery is $3,000 an hour. We're using a piece of machinery to sew some jeans. We have eight hours in a shift the shift our workers work. So that means that in that eight hour period, that machine is costing us $24,000. That is the cost we're trying to apply. We're going to apply it based on the number of genes we produce in that eight hour shift period, 12,000, and we come up with an overhead applied per pair of genes of $2. So if you can think about a pair of genes coming off the assembly line, $2 in cost is going to be machinery repair and maintenance and you can see up here under the blue heading variable costs that we have applied variable overhead of two dollars a pair up to the title here flexible budgeting we'll get to variance in the next video but you can see that we now we've got flexible flexible budgeting we've got a level of production of ten thousand pairs of jeans we've got a sales figure that's based on a sale price of $50. So this $5 million figure is simply $50 a pair times the number of jeans we've produced, 100,000. And then we have variable costs, direct labor, $5 a pair, we're paying factory workers. Direct materials, we're buying denim and other things, $5 a pair. The variable overhead, we add up all those numbers multiplying each of the per unit figures times the level of production here at the top. And when we add up all those, we have 1.2 million in variable cost. But then we have fixed costs, uh, rent or a mortgage we have on the factory, utility costs. Maybe we've got a flat fee for utilities that we pay. Maybe we've got um, 
other fixed costs, we throw them in a bucket and we say that that's $10,000 monthly. So since this is an annual calculation, we have fixed costs of $120,000. Sales, less variable costs, less fixed costs gives us a profit of $3.68 million. Now I'm going to change a number here because as you can see in our flexible budgeting, we could change that actual output to 80000 and all the numbers change. That's the end of our discussion and the beginning of our lecture on flexible budgeting. You'll find part 8 on YouTube. We're going to start talking about variances. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word. You'll find a complete list of our videos on our website. For live tutoring and live chat sessions going on all the time, stltest.net is our website address. The home page has the video listings. Here's our email and our phone number, and we'll see you next time.